This Sabbath, I want to talk about something that's really powerful, something that's going to happen in our lives and in our church if we are willing to let it take place. What's going to happen in your life and my life if we will make this choice together? Our study of the Holy Spirit now will move from John's Gospel to the book of Acts. Who is the most prominent character in the book of Acts? We often say it's the Acts of the Apostles. In fact, Bible scholars who write this book say that it really should have been called the Acts of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit is the source of power for living the victorious Christian life. And apart from the Holy Spirit, God's people, you and I, can do nothing. Apart from the anointing of the Holy Spirit, we really don't have power at all. We have no power to live the life that Jesus intended for us to live, to do the amazing kinds of things that ordinary people did when they were filled with the Holy, Holy Spirit. So what does it mean to be baptized or anointed by the Spirit? The book of Acts talks about people being filled with this power that the Holy Spirit provides. What does that mean? And how do you know if somebody has truly been anointed by the Holy Spirit? Those are just a few of the questions that we will study this Sabbath. Anybody listening to me right now interested in being fully open to the outpouring of God's Spirit, to receiving supernatural power to lead a meaningful, victorious kind of life? I sure do. So please join the conversation as we continue this important series. And also, please pray for me as I present the messages. And please pray for our entire faith community to be open to this outpouring that the Holy Spirit longs to provide. Look forward to seeing you Sabbath.